Okay, so let's continue here. Uh, I've been moving a little bit slow. Of course, this is an introduction to matinee. It's meant for people who have never used matinee before. I'm going to open up the matinee. I'm going to move at a little bit more of a brisk pace here. And let's zoom out here real quick. Okay, so we've got camera one. We've got our movement. We got one keyframe so far. So if we jump back in here, uh, I, if you remember, what I wanted to do was I wanted to get this camera to sort of uh, not really move, but kind of rotate in position and basically look up. That's going to require rotation, not actual movement. So let's go ahead and let's, let's do that. So, um, one way that we can do that is pretty simple. I'm going to take matinee here and I'm going to move to, say, a new position. So, right now this is zero seconds. So, five seconds might be a little bit too slow. So, right now what I'm going to say is, if I jump back in here and I'm going to go to lock actor or lock viewport to actor. Basically what I want is for the camera to do this. At zero seconds, we're here at the starting point, And at an unknown number of seconds in the future, I'm going to want the camera to do this. Right to about here. And I'm going to hit G to go to game mode so I can really see that. So I'm going to want the camera to do something like this, which I think will be pretty cool. We can see the cool effects up there. Um, this cool bright hot spot from the uh, opening in the cave ceiling. I think that'll be pretty cool. And we'll keep this uh, statue and stuff in the lower right of our of our shot. Okay, so this is where I'd probably like it to be. All right. So I've actually by doing this, I've actually changed the rotation. If we look over here in the details panel, pay attention to the rotation parameter in the Y, which is the pitch. It's changing as I do this. So basically, I'm changing the pitch of the camera. So I'm going to pitch it to about right here. And that looks pretty good. So let's jump back to matinee. Because we moved the camera, we can actually set a keyframe right here. So if we go up to this button over here that says Add Key, we can click that and we'll set a keyframe right here. So let's jump back here. And right now we can't really see much because we're either matinee or we're back in the scene. Let's go back to the first frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock my viewport camera. Okay, so at the first frame we're here. At the last frame, the camera moved. Uh, in order to see this a little bit better, though, what we're going to do is I'm going to tear off my matinee. And I could actually dock it at another part of the viewport uh, or the UI, but I'm not really going to do that. I don't have a lot of uh, real estate here for my screen just because I'm trying to record this video. So I'm going to kind of move stuff around so that I could see a little bit better. And there's my preview down here. So you could see that at the beginning of the animation, if you look at the preview, we're down here. If I start to slowly move the timeline by just left clicking and dragging here, you can just click anywhere down here in the timeline, just click and drag. You'll see that my camera starts to pitch and look up, which is pretty cool. So it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. So right now, it's taking it two seconds to do that movement. So if I want to see what it actually looks like, I can actually just hit the play button over here. And then I'll click on stop. And this is going to play audio while you do that, by the way. Um, so that's why you heard that. So, pretty cool. Uh, it moved a little bit too fast. I just felt like it moved a little bit too quick for me. Uh, so I didn't like that. So what I can do to slow it down is I need to move this keyframe further down in the timeline. So two seconds is too fast. So if we make this animation maybe four seconds, it's going to be uh, twice as slow. So it's going to take it twice as long. So to do that is actually really easy. Um, don't delete the keyframe and try to do the animation over again. Instead, hold down the control key, click on this keyframe, and we'll drag it over until it gets to four seconds. Now, you'll notice that when I played, it played past this, and it kept going. 
So let me show you how we can use the loop to kind of focus in on this area of the animation. I'm going to take the green tick mark and I'm going to set my loop here to four or just past four seconds. Four seconds right here. Okay, cool. Maybe I'll go a little bit past it to about six seconds. It's going to be kind of tough to do this because I have very limited screen uh, real estate on my screen here because I'm trying to record this at a smaller dimension of what my monitor actually supports, which is going to kind of stink a little bit, but just bear with me. Okay, so let me play this now. And what I could do is I could actually hit loop. So I'll hit loop. It's going to play it. Now it's a little bit slower. I actually like that better. And it's going to loop over and over again. So I could just focus on looking at this part of the animation and just check this out and see how this is looking. And if I feel like, well, looking at it over and over again, you know what? It looks good. That's, uh, that's what I wanted. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And I'm pretty happy with the way uh, that looks. So I'm going to say that that camera one is good to go. It's finished. And it was just two keyframes, so pretty easy stuff. All right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And in the next one, we'll just keep on rolling through this.